So I'm in New Jersey today, uh, delivering to uh, a couple warehouses that export vehicles, uh, salvage vehicles. Seen this in my Hotshot Haulers vlogs before, but I think some of these places are super sketchy. But um, I'm gonna do some research because I want to see what the uh, you know how many cars actually get exported a year because these lots are ridiculous and they're all over near these port towns. Um, there's some in Baltimore, there's some in Philadelphia, and there's some here in Jersey. And uh, these companies just buy you know salvage cars and ship them overseas. So hate to see what it costs to ship a car overseas, but the way they stack them in containers, maybe they get a deal on it. Welcome to New Jersey, where people just start beeping their horn for no reason. Looky what I found. Parked on a side street, making a delivery. So unfortunately, we didn't make it to our next pickup without running out of time on our eight hour clock. So we're in Somerville, New Jersey. Just got a strawberry banana smoothie. Walking to a bike shop. Might buy a bike today. We'll see what happens. Pedal bike, not a motorcycle. My wife would kill me. Well, the bad news is the bike shop, hold on, what am I doing? The bike shop was only taking uh, service appointments and you had to have like a scheduled appointment and they were taking your bike outside and bringing it in. That's bad news. It looked like a little mom and pop shop. Would have loved to give them some business, but tough times. So I am, uh, the good news is the smoothie was good. So I guess we're gonna continue the bike search place I'll be around tomorrow which is like another mom and pop bike shop uh, we may stop at but kind of wanted to get it today once I get something on my mind I can't really get it off and I like have to have it so I'm kind of fighting that urge to go find another one here in New Jersey but I can't sit around all day we got five minutes left on our 30 minute break got a nice little walk in it's hot it's a muggy 87 degrees out right now and uh keep the uh, the bike search going to see what happens it is so hot out here my least favorite copart copart Pensburg uh, they're not letting anybody inside so you have to uh, fill out this thing on their app and it puts you in line virtually in line and that guy is the only other guy here and I've been here 15 minutes and he still hasn't been loaded yet. And the guy at the door was a dick because I stood there and I was trying to type in the actual full website to get to their location's queue. And he's like, oh, you're gonna have to move away from the door, sir. I'm like, I'm trying to freaking read this like you just told me to. Well, you need to type it in and get away from the door. So, I'm not in a very good mood to say the least. But let me get this RAV4 picked up. And we got a call about uh, an F-250 here uh, from a regular of mine that uh, it's a scrap yard that's up by my house. So picking up, getting an extra 250 bucks for the day. No big deal. It's on the way home. And uh, yeah, I'm going to start uh, getting, actually I'm going to walk over here and uh, start writing down some notes for the next uh, video on the main channel. I was going to talk about... Um, process of picking up cars from different locations so better make myself productive story time so i'm sitting at copart and uh picking up a 06 f350 crew cab long bed so she's a big old girl and uh i'm there for about an hour and i was number four in line like i said there's like three trucks but I was number four in line, blah, blah, blah. So about an hour in, I get a text that my car's ready or my truck's ready, uh, that they'll bring it out to me. And like a half hour goes by and they haven't brought anybody's car out. So finally a guy comes out 
and I see him coming out on the loader and he doesn't have anything on his forks. And I know exactly what he's doing. He's coming for me. We can't pick this thing up. I'm like, okay, well, it's a run and drive unit. But we can't get it started. I can bring you back here. You can winch it on your trailer, uh, but it's in an awkward spot. And uh, Or you could try and jump it with your jump box and see what happens. So I walk my happy ass all the way back there with my jump box that I love and got it started. So it took a little bit. I had to let it sit for about two, three minutes, let it charge up, finally started. Well, the rear end is tweaked, so as you pull it up on the trailer, it wants to walk to the one side. So we get it up, I get it up on, and it's hanging off about that much on the passenger side. Well, I had this Russian guy beside me uh, that I had helped move some steel on his trailer. Uh, he had a, like a 40 foot flat trailer and he was picking up a car. So he needed to make room. So I helped him move some steel. So he, him and I took two ratchet straps around the wheel, through the wheel on the side it needed to go to, hooked to his trailer and swung the ass into the truck over. So nicest, one of the nicest guys I've ever met. Didn't ask me for any help to move the steel. I was just standing there you know not doing anything so figured I'd help him out and uh, we got it done he helped me I helped him and it was a good day yeah. well I just got a tornado warning on my phone and this is what this guy looks like that I'm driving straight into and I'm only about 15 or so minutes from Oh, she's coming down. Good thing I just have to go home. I don't have to unload what's on the trailer tonight. 